Your body has just done one of the most remarkable things it will ever do. Grow another human being. After nine months of waiting, you are probably excited to finally be home with your new baby. Much of your focus and energy during the coming weeks and months will be on the baby. But remember that you also need to take care of yourself. So the most frequently asked questions about my recovery are about how I handle things mentally, my diet, my workout routine and my schedule in general and my video today is going to be addressing all of that. Home with a toddler and a newborn can be overwhelming. As a mom of two, I'm constantly shuffling between playing with my son and feeding my daughter and making sure both my children have my attention and time. All this with keeping my work schedule going too, it does take a toll on me mentally. There isn't a lot of me time initially, but I found a way to put myself in a calming environment and that's through aromatherapy. Camphor is such a great stress reliever and I particularly use the Mangalam Bhimaseni Camphor because it's 100% pure, it has an extremely refreshing fragrance and it leaves behind absolutely no residue. Apart from feeling refreshed, I also feel super positive throughout the day. The Kapoor Dani looks super aesthetic and would look great in any corner of your house. It's long lasting and reusable and makes for a great gift too. The smell of camphor, a calming atmosphere, a feeling of warmth and harmony, there is a special kind of serenity associated with fragrant aromas and there is no better way to get yourself feeling refreshed. The link to this is in my description box below and you could use my code DISHA10 to get an extra 10% off on your purchase. Postpartum diet has always been a very frequently asked question and I'll be very honest with you, the reason why I haven't shared it uh, up till now is probably because what I do has worked really well for my body and my newborn and it might not work the best for you. So only because of that I was sort of reluctant but hey I'm gonna share it anyway but I want to let you know that if there's anything in this diet that you want to include in your everyday diet for your baby I feel like you should check with your doctor if everything is okay then you should proceed. I always start my day with a warm glass of milk. For breakfast dosa made of methi seeds. Wash thoroughly and dry it in a cool place for 48 hours. Fry them well all separately and have this mixture powdered. A spoon of this mixture is sufficient to make one dosa. I have two dosas every day with a generous amount of ghee. My meals always end with a pan and I'll share that recipe with you in a bit. For lunch, rice, pepper rasam, curd and a vegetable palya. I eat pepper rasam for only one month, post which I switch to bele sar or rasam made out of thur dal. Dry roast the above separately, take a dry mixer jar and powder all the ingredients with one spoon of asafoetida or hing. The amount of ingredients mentioned are generally sufficient for the entire month. Take about 100 ml water and boil it. Add some salt and one spoon of the above prepared mixture. Season it with ghee and three garlic pods. Vegetable palya, I generally eat only seven kinds of palya for almost three months. For snack, upit. For dinner, rice, pepper rasam, curd and vegetable palya. The same as my lunch, just different vegetables in the morning and night. I had shared a 
a story about the paan and its ingredients during my first pregnancy and my first delivery and recovery process and all of that but uh, it's not on my instagram anymore but i definitely feel like i should share that with you guys because you have asked me about it over and over again but i just want to let you know that uh, the reason why paan is so important in my diet is because it helps with digestion not just for me but for my baby too through my milk uh, and also this is actually almost a 100 year old recipe that my great grandfather had written down in like a little notebook and has still you know his children have still preserved it and my mom actually wrote down this recipe and uh, all of them in the family have been following this and it's worked really well for them so it's worked for me too and uh, that's why i'm sharing it with you i hope it works for you as well powder the nuts and add the other ingredients mentioned to a dry mixer jar and grind them after it's blended well put it into a container and add 2 spoons of ghee and mix well the quantity mentioned will serve for a week and should be made fresh again I generally have this after every meal. Losing weight involves eating healthy, balanced meals. Every new mother loses weight at a different pace. So don't compare your weight loss efforts to others. Take your time and most importantly, don't stress. Exercise is generally advised to only start after about 6 weeks of recovery and because of that I'm completely off any sort of workout right now I'm just enjoying my time with my baby but even then when I start my routine of exercising and all of that I don't really stress too much about it if I've missed a day or two or even an entire week for that matter uh, because being on my toes for Vian is sufficient enough of a workout but uh, even then probably after 6 weeks uh, sometime soon I I will make a video about what I do for workout. Consists of a lot of dancing, but yes, I will share that with you too soon. The postpartum period refers to the first 6 weeks after childbirth. This is a joyous time, but it's also a period of adjustment and healing for mothers. Adjusting to everyday life after the birth of a baby has its challenges, especially if you're a new mother. Although it's important to take care of your baby, don't forget you also have to take care of yourself.